how brain rhythms organize our visual perception. Imagine that you are watching a crowded hang gliding competition, keeping track of a single glider's skillful movements. Our brain uses separate circuits for our outstanding tracking ability. One circuit is specialized to process color information, and the other is specialized for processing directions of motion. This allows for optimal perceptual performance. But how do we perceptually combine the color and direction into our unified percept of the glider, or any other object? Knowing how this is achieved would help us better understand the underlying neural correlates of conscious perception. Such knowledge would also provide a better understanding of physiological deficits, underlying disorders that involve perceptual errors, such as in schizophrenia. A team of scientists from the German Primate Center, the Iran University of Science and Technology, and the Institute for Research in Fundamental Sciences in Tehran, Iran, have investigated this powerful ability of the brain. Previous studies had shown that different visual aspects of visual objects are analyzed in highly specialized separate brain areas. These areas then transmit their information to high-level brain areas. Here, individual features are combined to form our unified percept of visual objects. This target area needs to distinguish the source of the incoming signals to identify the type of their information. But how is this performed? This problem is comparable to the situation when a radio receiver needs to distinguish the transmitter from which a signal originates. Each radio station broadcasts its program using a specific frequency. Based on this characteristic frequency, receivers can tell apart the originating station of each signal. Similarly, the brain region processing color transmits information via a different frequency than the region processing motion. Color is transmitted through low, around 70 cycles per second, while motion is transmitted at a higher frequency, around 200 cycles per second. Using this sophisticated system, the high-level brain area can identify the incoming color and direction information and combine them into our unified percept of a moving glider.